Hey guys, what's up? This is finally a new video. I'm back. I'm back from my vacation. I took a two or three weeks off to focus on myself, focus on my private life. And it just has been such a great time. I made so many great photos that I will show you in an upcoming video probably. And there has been so many things that happened in the meantime. And the latest thing that happened is that Twitter released their web redesign and also their redesign for all their apps. And I have the latest version for my iPhone. So here's my iPhone screen. I want to go through all the different new features that they have and I would just like to talk a bit about my opinion about the new design and what I like, what I don't like about the design. So we have the start page right here. It definitely looks super screen. The home screen looks so amazing. It's super clean. You see the bottom tab bar. It only has these four icons, no explore tab, no things that really disrupt you, no features that you don't actually use. They really focus on just the features that we are using and at least that I'm using. So if you miss something in the tab bar, just let me know in the comment section. So we have these icons. We have some indicators. If there is new content available, that's great. Um, at the top, at this like status bar, we have our avatar, we have the title of the page and we can send direct messages. So if I hit the avatar, I get this little menu right here. So I don't know if hiding a menu behind an avatar makes so much sense, but I know that they are doing exactly this in their web version. So, I mean, looking from that side, it makes sense to have an overall user interface that works the same in the web browser or on your phone. That definitely makes sense, but I don't know about that. I mean, of course I can figure it out somehow and I, make, I mean, I can also swipe to get to the menu. That's cool actually. I mean, I also get direct access to my profile. I get access to lists. I really use lists. You see that I'm following so many people and I need lists to really organize the people that I want to stay in contact with the most and the tweets that I want to see on a day to day basis. So lists is really important for that. I also get um, the other accounts that I have. So for example, I can switch to the SketchUp TV account. A tap on the profile image in the menu gets you to the profile page. And here's a thing that most people really criticize or a thing that they didn't get used to just yet. So Twitter really changed anything from a slightly rounded border or corner to total rounded corners. So if you look, for example, at the avatar at your profile image and at the button on the right side, which is edit your profile, you see that they really try to make all things rounded and I actually like it, but I know that some of you guys don't like it. I mean, I don't know what's the right aspect of doing that, what's wrong, I don't know. Um, I like it, I think we have to get used to it even though, um, but anyways, it's a cool feature that they try out new things. And of course, they also changed the icon set. Um, I see this because there is like my birth date and my like current location and so on, but also of course in the tab bar, there are new icons and I really like these icons. They are these one pixel line icons and I really enjoy them. They remind me of the iOS 6. I guess it's iOS 6 that came out with these line icons and it's just a cool thing to have these icons because I think the user interface looks much more friendly right now. I think it's really a fun to use, clean and friendly looking interface and I really like that. Um, it's really amazing to see how they can still improve their product even though they have been around in the market for like what 10 years or something like that almost. Um, it's incredible. And looking at a tweet we see that the icons of course changed and it looks much more cleaner right now. I really enjoy that for example the tab bar at the bottom is looking really great together with the input field. Um, it's incredible. I can also hit the little icon on the right side to get to a full window to input my answer, my reply. And it just makes so much sense using this new interface. So I really enjoy using it. Um, I of course like these small tiny animations that they pull out. Um, and it just makes so much sense right now. 
So these were just some of my thoughts about it. I'm um, going through the interface really quick. If you have seen anything else that you would like to talk about, anything else that you want to discuss, anything you'd like or you don't like that I didn't just talk about, then just write it down in the comment section. I'm really curious what your thoughts are. You can of course also reply to me on Twitter and we have a nice little chat right there. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. I'm back from my vacation. New videos will come out very soon. I'm trying to get out one video a week. This is really my goal and it's starting again right now. So I want to thank you for joining in. I want to thank you for watching this video and we see us in the next one. Bye. This video was sponsored by Dev Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12 week design bootcamp intended to get you a full time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!